Talk a little bit about one of the most interesting um, uh, new voices you've brought to ESPN, which is uh, bringing, getting Nate Silver mm -hmm. to come over. I thought that was really daring and um, super interesting. Uh -huh. this, you, you lured him away from the New York Times, which mm -hmm. is not um, an insignificant platform that he had already. He was mm -hmm. so much a part of the conversation in the election uh, last year. So uh, what's your, what were you thinking? Like what, what was, you know, and, and you might have thought you've gotten somebody with, more with a sports background already because right. there's so many now. Mm -hmm. There's all these experts since uh, power, did I say Powerball? Uh, Moneyball. Moneyball. Sorry, mm -hmm. since Moneyball, that, who traffic in that in, in data crunching. Mm -hmm. So if why I can win Powerball, it might end my career. By I mean, it shouldn't be Moneyball. <laughs> the the I met Nate uh, at the MIT Sloan Analytics Conference, which we're a, um, a sponsor of. That of course is sort of the preeminent gathering of uh, sports geeks, I guess. Mm -hmm. Self self referred. Um, and Nate and I got to know each other just a little bit there, and I thought, you know, sort of what he did was fascinating relative to the world of sports. And so we began to talk about uh, whether there might be a moment where he would be interested in coming to ESPN and doing that. He was quite clear that he wanted to, he would like to spend more time on sports, but quite clear that the politics, that other things uh, were important to him. And so we began to have a conversation about doing a website uh, 538.com that would allow him to do all of those things he was interested in. Again, this is a little like Bill Simmons. It's a little like Keith Oberman. It's a little like when we hired Hunter Thompson at ESPN.com and Ralph Wiley and David Halberstam. If we can find people who have unique voices and unique talents, we want to have those people work for ESPN. <laughs>